It would be an understatement to say that I love voice and music. Just have a listen to this podcast or check the Hand That Feeds HQ website in which I am talking about male Sayu music all the time. I dare say that for you it's the same, especially if you check Sayu Lounge's episodes frequently. You're interested or a bit curious about male Sayu's voices and their endeavors in the music industry. We've got all types of music, from more intense to minimalistic, overly produced or natural performances, and all types of singing voices from male Sayu. There are many amazing voices out there, and every day, more and more Sayu join in the industry, flaunting beautiful or powerful voices and awesome technique to boot. But have you stopped for a bit to notice that we seldom have opportunities to enjoy listening to our favorite singers among Sayu just sing without distractions? That's where a cappella music makes its big entrance. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Sayu Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is Sayu a cappella, the perfect blend of voice acting and music. This episode stems from a written feature I published at the Hand That Feeds HQ about the 2D a cappella music project, Aopella. While writing that feature, I realized that fans of Sayu artists and 2D music projects rarely have the opportunity to listen to a cappella performances. If, like me, you enjoy listening to the voices of your favorite Sayu, especially those that have wonderful singing voices, you may wonder how clean their singing is without all that glitter of the studio. I wonder about these almost all the time. After all, I am passionate about voices and talented singers. So, prior to Aopella, there was no other 2D music project embracing a cappella music. Fans did get glimpses of such performances, for example in the Idolish 7 anime adaptation and even during its live shows, with Takuya Sato's performance at Idolish 7's second live reunion standing out. I remember watching that show live and when Takuya Sato joined the stage for Negai Shine on the Sea, everyone was mesmerized by his a cappella in the intro. The power, the emotion, the delivery. There was nothing like it, and I was in love with it. Everything was perfect and showed not only that Takuya Sato is a technical singer, but also that we should get more opportunities for male Sayu to showcase their voices as they are, beautiful and raw. In that same year, Yumuchida kicked off a trademark of his, performing a cappella intros to his albums. Fans were, yet again, mesmerized at how technical and beautiful a cappella music is through the sound of Harmony of Waves. And I fell, yet again, in love with his music and voice. Uchida showed his outstanding talent, performing all three major voice tones within the male voice spectrum, which are the tenor, baritone and bass, and harmonizing with each other in a R&B fashion. Since then, fans have anticipated these albums due to how stellar those a cappella intros are. Interestingly enough, it wouldn't take long until Aopella noticed that and decided to enlist Yumuchida as the leading tenor for Vad Lip, group that joined the franchise in 2022. But a cappella music is not commonly loved. Some of you may be aware of the highly popular Japanese a cappella group The Gospelers, or of the US-based Pentatonix, the most popular group of the genre in the world, but truth is, many of you don't listen to a cappella music as regularly as you do rock, pop or hip-hop, for example. If you do, then I reckon this episode won't have anything new for you to learn. But if you don't, you may have your reasons why you don't listen to a cappella music. Maybe you only listen to popular music, or you just listen to dance music or rock, or you weren't even aware that this music genre existed. 
Regardless, you will know that even on social media and music streaming websites, a cappella music doesn't stand a chance of standing out because some will say it's not fun, it's not addictive, or doesn't have any instruments, therefore it is a bore to listen to. Despite its high quality, being a music genre that puts so much faith into the natural, unaltered quality of the singing voices, a cappella music still has a long way to go until it becomes popular. And there is still some reluctancy to approach a cappella music. Seiyu artists seldom venture to a cappella music. Rock bands fronted by Seiyu don't even think about it. This may be because a cappella music is highly technical and not all Seiyu artists or even Seiyu bands have the skills to master it. Yes, let's admit this. It is most likely that some of your favorite Seiyu or Seiyu artists are not good singers. I know for sure that there are some Seiyu whose music I enjoy a whole lot, but I would never dub them as good singers. So you got to be realistic about this. Not all Seiyu that are solo artists do it because they are talented at it or even because they like it. They, they have their reasons. I talked extensively about this in some of the early episodes of Seiyu Lounge. So it is expected that those Seiyu, completely aware of their weaknesses, will avoid performing a cappella music. Their poor technique or singing skills would be exposed. As such, there are only a handful of Seiyu artists that could pull off a cappella music while sounding great. Some of those are already in the cast of Hao Pella, while others I believe it's only a matter of time until they join in. At the same time, a cappella music has a unique vibe that may not fit most Seiyu artists and most certainly doesn't fit any rock bands. All that is left is for some Seiyu artists to show glimpses of a cappella performances in their music and leave 2D music projects to fully take over the genre. Yet, 2D music projects are also not that fond of a cappella music because it doesn't sell as well as pop or hip hop music does. Those that listen exclusively to music by 2D music projects and Seiyu artists barely get to explore the beauty of this niche music genre. So with that in mind, I decided to bring you a special episode covering a cappella music. First, about what is the genre, its parts and then a couple of interesting tidbits. For purposes of this episode, I won't be talking in depth about a cappella. I leave that for the next episode. So, what is a cappella music? It is a special type of group or solo performance without an instrumental accompaniment. A cappella is a style of music performance that puts the spotlight on the quality of the vocals, putting aside any distractions that you usually have behind a voice in pop music or any other music genre. This type of music performance dates back to 2000 BC and is closely connected to church music. For example, the mighty Gregorian chant is a perfect illustration of what a cappella music is all about. A cappella, of course, is not only singing, members of an a cappella group have positions that they fill in to create a harmonious performance and that includes creating the bass and percussion that serve as the backdrop for the vocals only performance. What are the positions in a cappella music? A cappella groups can be mixed, male voice only or female voice only. Depending on the group configuration, you may have more or less vocal positions. An a cappella group or vocal band traditionally counts with five major voice parts. For female voices, there are the soprano and alto. For male voices, there are the tenors, baritones and bass singers. Groups can have different setups though. You can mix what are called traditionally male and female voices, have only male or female voices, or you can mix and match members that cover different parts in a cappella music, having multiple tenors or baritones within the same group, for example. But there's more to it. There are percussion parts and those are made by voice only with a member in charge of replicating the percussion sound only by using beatboxing vocal techniques. 
Most a cappella arrangements will have a soloist, usually a soprano or a tenor, with exceptional singing ability that can drive the song with belting and power, and a beatboxer who needs to have a lot of talent to pull off a consistent, punchy beat, driving the performance forward. Parts within an a cappella song so, a cappella music is not that different from regular pop music. It does have a melody, harmony, bassline and percussion. However, everything in here is performed by voice only. We've now talked about how male seiyuu can either be tenors, baritones or bass singers. Well, this is important to determine who sings which part within an a cappella song and ultimately bringing harmony to the performance. Each voice part may have different functions within an a cappella arrangement, such as the melody. The melody is the main tune or theme of a song that is usually sung by the soprano or tenor voice. The melody is often the most recognizable and memorable part of a song, and it may vary in pitch, rhythm and expression. Then you have the harmony. The harmony is the combination of notes that support and enhance the melody. The harmony is usually sung by the alto, baritone or bass voice. The harmony may follow a chord progression or a musical scale that creates a sense of tension and resolution in a song. Then you have the bass line. The bass line is the lowest part of an a cappella arrangement that provides a foundation for all other voices. The bass line is, as you may suspect, usually sung by the bass voice. The baseline may follow a simple or complex pattern that creates a sense of groove and movement in a song. And to wrap up, you have percussion. The percussion is a part of an a cappella arrangement that provides a rhythmic framework for the other voices. The percussion is usually created by using vocal techniques such as beatboxing, which is basically imitating a drum sound with the mouth. You have also clapping, snapping and stomping. The percussion may follow a steady or syncopated pattern that creates a sense of energy and excitement in a song. The challenges for singers To sing a cappella well, one needs to master various skills and techniques that are specific to this form of vocal music. Contrary to pop or EDM music that anyone can sing even without proper technique or knowing how to actually sing, a cappella music can only be performed to its maximum quality by singers that have mastered various skills and techniques on the vocal end. Some of these skills and techniques include Active listening Active listening is the practice of listening to music with intention and focus. For example, as a music reviewer, I do these all the time to catch little details on the composition, tricks on the vocal end, or even have the sensibility to notice change in tone to a song just from the little things within the voice. In a cappella music, it is important to be able to listen to other singers and adjust your pitch and tone accordingly. At the same time, it also involves being able to recognize when your voice is out of tune or not blending well with others. Then you have pitch accuracy. Pitch is the highness or lowness of a sound. A cappella singers need to have a good ear for pitch and be able to sing in tune with themselves and their fellow singers. Pitch accuracy is essential for creating a pleasing harmony and avoiding dissonance. A cappella singers also need to be able to adjust their pitch according to the key and mode of the song, as well as the intonation of the other singers. Then they need to sing in harmony. Harmony is the ability to blend one's voice with the others to create pleasing sounds. Singing in harmony occurs when two or more people sing different notes that complement each other and create that pleasing sound. It's a technique that's specific to a cappella music and requires a lot of technique to master. Singing in harmony involves understanding the melody of the song and how your voice fits within it. Active listening comes into play when it comes to singing in harmony and in a correct pitch and tone. Basic singing theory So, you thought singing was just about getting to the mic and sing? Mm, no. 
A cappella singers need to have a good understanding of music theory, especially how to read and interpret music sheets. A cappella music is often written in polyphonic style, which means that there are multiple independent vocal parts that harmonize with each other. As such, a cappella singers need to be able to follow their own part and blend with the others without relying on any instruments for guidance. Then you have the challenge with rhythm and timing. A cappella singers need to have a good sense of rhythm and timing and be able to sing with a steady tempo and syncopation. Remember, they do not have an instrumental to follow when singing, so they must have a perfect sense of rhythm and timing. Rhythm and timing are important for creating a cohesive musical structure and conveying the mood and emotion of the song. A cappella singers also need to be able to follow the cues and signals of the leader or conductor of the group, who may use gestures, facial expressions or vocalizations to indicate changes in tempo, dynamics or style. Then you have the vocal range and flexibility. I talk about this frequently when I review music. Vocal range and flexibility to adapt, at times being unrecognizable within their range, is a rare technique that very few male say you have. When it comes to a cappella music, this is essential. A cappella singers need to have a wide vocal range and be able to sing in different registers and timbres. Vocal range and flexibility are important for creating a rich and varied sound and for adapting to different songs and genres. They also need to be able to switch between different voice parts such as tenor, bass, baritone or percussion, in the specific case of male Sayu, and depending on the needs and arrangements of the group in question. And lastly, the vocal expression and creativity. A cappella singers need to have a strong vocal expression and creativity and be able to sing with emotion, personality and style. Vocal expression and creativity are important for making the song come alive and for engaging the audience. A cappella singers also need to be able to improvise, embellish or modify their vocal parts according to the situation and the artistic vision of the group. With all these techniques in their arsenal, a cappella singers, or in this case, any Sayu that joins an a cappella project, are the best singers out there. They are the creme de la creme among male Sayu singers. Usually, I say that good singers are those that can carry a song by using their voice only. They do not need any fancy music distracting you of their quality. They can make your jaw drop with a raw performance. They can make you cry, sing along and have goosebumps all over. A cappella singers are amazing. A cappella music can adapt to any music genre. Through voice only, the singers in an a cappella group can perform pop, EDM, ballads, R&B, jazz, hip hop and many other music genres. It will depend on the skills and voice tones within the group. However, most a cappella music will embrace music genres such as pop, ballads and R&B. As you may have noticed, a cappella music is a unique and important art form that has a long and fascinating history. From its ancient roots in religious and folk music to its modern techniques and styles, a cappella music has evolved over time, remaining relevant and vital to music and voice lovers everywhere. A cappella music offers a wealth of creative and expressive possibilities, making it a truly special and remarkable art form that puts the spotlight on the beauty and power of the human voice. A big reason why you find me week in, week out talking about Sayu artists and music it's because I love their voices. And whenever a Sayu goes all out to deliver a performance that is so powerful, or they tackle something in a completely different style than usual, I'm usually all ears, and my jaw may be dropped in awe as well, and that's with full-fledged songs supporting them. Now, when Sayu tackle songs by themselves, no support or backing track needed, and they still dazzle me, 
it's when I believe we see the full potential and talent of those say you as singers. There is no background music in which to lose yourself in, at times completely disregarding the performance that the CU is giving. The focus is solely on the voice. The voice is the instrument. When performing a cappella music, say you are stripped of that comfort that is having a loud backing track that will cover for them, or even having pitching correcting software saving them. A cappella music is tricky to perform, but those say you that pull it off are the ones that, once again, I believe, are confident in their skills and know how to sing. You'll say, but every say you knows how to sing. And I'll do the devil's advocate here and say that while that is true to some extent, at the same time you can't say that every and all say you know how to properly sing. Singing coaches or even people with well-trained ears and music sense will notice that there are some Sayu that do not know how to sing and yet they are, for example, active as solo artists. And that is okay. If it works for them, it works for them. Well, a cappella music can be beautiful and can create dreamy, youthful and upbeat soundscapes for you to lose yourself in. It is a rich yet simplistic take on music that, in an industry overflowing with overly produced pop and hip-hop acts, comes as a refreshing and welcome change of pace. We still have very few Sayu artists and even fewer 2D music projects embracing a cappella music, but what we do have so far is quite awesome. Now tell me, does the slow resurgence of a cappella music in the CU industry excite you? And which CU would you love to hear performing a cappella music? Let me know in the comments on YouTube. And remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be, and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of CU Lounge. If you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the Hand That Feeds HQ's weekly mail say you and music-related content, hit the subscribe button. I'll return next week with another episode of Say You Lounge, and this time it is about a opella. Thank you for listening and see you guys around. Music